Real Agriculture's coverage of Agritechnica 2019 is brought to you by Bravant. Seed. Yield. Easy. Sean Haney here with Real Agriculture, and we're at Agritechnica 2019, brought to you by Bravant. And right now we are with Valerie from Joskin. Valerie, how's it going? I'm fine, thank you. You, you enjoying the show? Yes, we do. It's really nice to be here. Customers from all over the world. Yes, really, from all over the world, from four yeah. corners, yes. So, a very prestigious award. Uh, we have talked to some of the silver medalists, but you you were a part of a project where you won a gold medal for innovation here at the show. Tell us about the product. Yes, this product is, uh, or the gold medal, is concerns a part of the product because the original product is a slurry tanker with a big, big volume and a high capacity in terms of hectares power. And here we implemented into this machine some driven axles where the power is not coming from a PTO but from an electric motor. And this electric energy is generated by an uh, electric motor included into the tractor. So that's really new way of thinking. Yeah. And we're hearing a lot about electric drives here this year at Agritechnica for sure. Uh, so th this tank specifically was beefed up and was also, uh, it's, it's, it's equi the system's equipped for the 8R tractor? Yes, it is. It is. I mean, here this uh, example is a concrete application where you can use the electrical power. But I'm sure in the future, in the near future, you will have other consumers which can be supplied by electrical power. And so we have two of the three back axles, the, the back two of the three, they're, they're driven electrically. Uh, tell us about some of the advantages of that. Yeah, the, I think the, the biggest advantage here in this case is to protect uh, the soil, the ground and uh, to have uh, much less slip than you had in, on bad conditions with, uh, without any driven axles. Okay. And the idea is here really that you really can um, go, uh, have a good setup between the tanker, in this case, and the tractor. So really a, a, a one per one uh, transmission and a one per one um, settings which fits the best. In the past with other systems, yes, always the machine is pushing too much a tractor or the opposite. And here it's not the case. And have you been testing them in the field? Uh, yes, the prototype, uh, we did some tests here during this year 2019 and the machine which is just behind us will go in field testing on February uh, 2020. How big is the tank and the machine behind us? It's uh, 26,000 liters, so uh, three axle tankers. Wow. So w what kind of capacity would that be? Like, uh, how, how many acres or hectares is somebody doing uh, per hour, per day when, they're, when they are using this machine? Uh, that depends really on what you're spreading. So um, here, uh, most of the time, and which season you are, most of the time they are spreading between 20 and maybe 30 cubes per hour, uh, per hectare, sorry. But uh, with traditional slurry, but some of our customers also spread some uh, industrial uh, waste or some products from there with much lower quantity. So we're talking about uh, 5 to 10 cubes per hectare. And so you're really flexible with this system. And thanks to the driven X, you're flex more flexible than you were in the past uh, on the weather conditions. Yeah. So without damaging soil. So, so you mentioned you know not damaging the soil, less slippage in the, in the wheels. Uh, is the, does the tractor have to work less hard? Is, is there electrical power at all assisting in the tractor trying to move that trailer through the through the field? Somehow, yes, I would say because he's working more efficient. So you don't need to put too much weight on your tractor because you have a, a real eight-wheel drive tractor in this case, and not a four-wheel drive one. Yeah. So you can uh, have a better better setting of your complete ve vehicle. And yes, somehow, yes, I would say yes. Okay. And, and we're day four here now of the show. Uh, you've talked to a lot of customers. What are farmers saying about this idea of an electrical drive? They are really surprised and happy for it. They realize, as we do, that's really a revolution. And that is just the first concrete example of what electrification agriculture machinery can, can do and can be in the future. So it's really interesting to talk to them because they are having other ideas which parts and which functions can be done by electrical energy in the future. And we should mention this was a partnership with John Deere? Sorry? This was a partnership with John Deere? Yes, it was. It was. So it's a real partnership for this project with John Deere. 
and uh, it was a really really nice uh, thing because uh, exchanging from a big company as they are we are 850 people only so it's really nice to learn from each other and to exchange we are the experts in slurry technology here in Europe and maybe worldwide mm. they are for sure experts in tractors so it's really nice to, to, to work together yes well maybe in the future we'll see some of these uh, electrical drive units in the Canadian market as uh, Joskin has a presence in Ontario and Quebec and southern Alberta so uh, congratulations on the uh, gold medal thank you very much really nice thank you